What's up, YouTube? Cobra Brick Productions here with my custom micro scaled Kessel Run Millennium Falcon from Solo a Star Wars Store. Now, this Millennium Falcon isn't exactly the one we see in the movie, it's actually what happens to it right after the movie takes place. So, it's gotten a little bit more of its normal colors, less blue, and this was a fun build for me, pretty quick. Uh, little black things on the bottom are just the uh, landing gear and this was a pretty fun build so yeah let me show you how to make it uh, so these are the pieces you'll need to make this Millennium Falcon these are mostly pieces you'll probably have somewhere in your spare piece collection so let's get right into it starting off you're just gonna need one of these round tiles and two of the blue one by two tiles and you're just gonna put them right there and here then you will need these two one by two tiles with like rounded pieces and they're hollow studs two of those to go right here and symmetrical on the other side then just two light gray grill pieces and these will go right on the side here and here. I also built this so that when you wanted to take it apart one day, it's an easy thing to destroy. So just remember that. Then you put one of these corner tiles here and place another one of the corner tiles like, like so. Next, on the other side, you're going to place one of these 1x2 with an, a little rail on the side, on this side. Now, I didn't have another 1x2 regular uh, plate, so you should just use a 1x2 plate there, but this is what I had. You can also use this piece. Um, it works. And then moving across, we're going to take this corner tile and place it right here to make the cockpit and then we're going to start putting the cockpit piece now this can be any color you want I use clear just because it worked the best for the color scheme of the ship in general in my opinion so there's this next you just take one of these this is a pretty rare piece but you can just substitute it for whatever you want really uh, just this 2 by 3 with this little triangular thing on the end for about one stud and you place this right up here and turn this over and take another of these one by two plates with rails and stick that sorry take this thing off I made a mistake and place it up another stud and place this right here and our last rail piece will just go right there so that's how that looks and now moving on to the second part which is the topper half so take another round plate on t in the middle just place this two by two cylind cylindrical tire tile right there then on either side of that place two of these grills so one and two then we need a white grill right there then take one of these quarter round tiles and place it here in this stud that's another rare piece you don't need it for it to look good but it does help a little bit then take your other one and place it right here so you have so far and lastly, we're going to take, for the little radar disc, a uh, hook piece, place that here, and one of these pieces, another not too common piece, but you can probably substitute this for whatever, and the hook looks good by itself if you can't, and just place this in here. Now, it won't fit all the way, so you'll notice, but it gives it that sense of um, the radar disc sticking up a little bit. You can also pretty much turn it back all the way you can and it'll 
will sometimes pop out, but it looks pretty good to me. So that's the second part. Then you're just going to place these two halves on top, like so. Make sure it's all the way down. Then flip this over. And we are going to make the engines, sorry, the, uh, the uh, landing gear, sorry. And this is not going to be perfect. What the ideal situation would be is you'd be able to place these black studs on each of the four places here. That's not going to work because Lego builds these little holes in so they're not like a full circle. So you can't place them all the way and they don't stick. So uh, you can just simply place them on these four circles, which isn't ideal, but it works. And from some angles, it looks better than others, but it still works. And there you have it. There's the just at post Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe for more Lego hauls, reviews, mocks, speed builds, and news. This, pre this channel covers nearly anything Lego related, so stay tuned and see you again soon. If you like this mock, please comment down below.